previously on the life of a broski. Perfect. Hello broskies and welcome back to another edition of Buy or Buy. And if you're new here, I'm Erkin and this is the life of a broski where I bring you sneakers, a lifestyle and more waffle than Captain Birdseye. And on today's episode, I am reviewing the Nike Air Force One React Quick Strike. And yes, broskies, I know another AF1 React review. Broskies, look at this bad boy. How could I not? So many different accents and stylistic changes I couldn't resist. Now there is a lot to talk about with this sneaker, but first things first, we're talking about the name. The Air Force One React Quick Strike is simply because of the limited amount of pairs on sale. And these bad boys sold out so quick. In my head, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a couple pairs for resale or for a giveaway, but I just about got my own pair. Now, even though it is a Quick Strike, fingers crossed these will restock. But going around this Air Force One React Quick Strike white light bone colorway, one of the main stylistic changes on this silhouette is the 3M accents all across this sneaker. Now the 3M accents are spread across the Nike swooshes on the lateral and medial side, the Dimension 6 label in the medial side of the sneaker, and of course the laces. The Dimension 6 label is in reference to what Nike were initially going to be called. One of the other significant changes on this sneaker is the holographic panels on the tongue right at the top. Just below that on that lace separator and right at the back on top of the heel counter. Now the writing and logos do change based on the angle that you're looking at the sneaker from. It has a mixture between the Air Force One and Nike React branding. And for me, that is a very, very nice touch. It is a rarity to see holographic panels on sneakers. It is a very retro look. Now looking across the upper, there is that diamond pattern design all across this sneaker, complemented by those wired and stitched overlays towards the medial and lateral side of the sneaker and surrounding the lace holes. And of course that toe box is that suede like material. Now because this particular colorway doesn't use synthetic levers, it does look like the creasing on the toe box may be to a minimal. But that of course is something you have to judge over time. Now another standout feature for me is of course that ice blue midsole and outsole. Now this silhouette does have that semi translucent outsole which in my opinion looks absolutely gorgeous because you can see that orange insole of the sneaker. But keeping these clean is a whole different story. So broskies, my first look at this bad boy. Now I'd really wish they'd release more silhouettes in this colorway. The holographic panels alongside the 3M accents is amazing to look at. In my opinion, this is actually giving the Flyknit 2.0 a run for its money that actually held the crown for my favorite Air Force Ones. But I might have to rethink that. Time will tell broskies, time will tell. Now when it comes to sizing of this sneaker, I got half a size down and they fit perfectly. Even with that enlarged insole, I still say go half a size down. It fits just like your normal Air Force One. Now, if you've been watching this channel long enough, you know how much I love 3M reflective accents. And taking pictures of these bad boys at night with a flash, I can't believe how good it looks, especially on that swoosh. That reflective outline to the swooshes is that icing on the cake. Now, of course, React is known for how comfortable their sneakers are. And where that Nike React cushioning comes from is not the midsole, it's the insole. No. I like that color, orange, Oy. Oh my days. Look how cool that looks on the inside. Wow, wow, wow. I like my insoles how I like my women. <laughs> 
Forgive me, please forgive me. Of course, you've got that React branding on the inside with that wavy pattern. And we've got the air unit at the back of the insole. It's like a little air sac. It's very nice and squishy. And that little air sac at the back is responsible for the added cushioning to this Air Force One React collaboration. But in terms of comfortability, this sneaker is miles ahead to your normal Air Force One. But still, in my opinion, the Air Force One Flyknit 2.0 still holds that crown of the most comfiest Air Force One. It's because of how light it feels on foot and that breathable fly knit material for me in my opinion is just unrivaled. But this is definitely right behind it. The lack of synthetic levers on this sneaker makes this sneaker a lot more comfortable on foot and of course a lot more breathable. So overall comfort I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. A lot more comfortable to your normal Air Force One and even compared to the other React Air Force. Now when it comes to breathability, the lack of synthetic levers really works in this sneaker's favour. The lighter materials on this sneaker is a breath of fresh air for breathability. So out of 10, I'm going to give an 8.5. Now I haven't really addressed the elephant in the room that much. But when it comes to the creasing on the toe box, I'm going to have to see over time how well these hold up. Now the leather and new buck versions of Air Forces is normally responsible for the creasing on the classic silhouette. So I will have to see over time. I can't judge just yet. But broskies, we have come to the part of the video where I decide if these are a buy or a buy. Do I even need to go over it? Look at it. Look at this bad boy now the holographic panels the 3m reflective accents and the ice cold cool chilly <sighs> refreshing midsole the ice blue cool finish to the midsole wow the only thing i am worried about a little bit is keeping it clean but a little spray and a little rub down after everywhere i'm sure that would be sufficient this is definitely the best air force one react collaboration that we've had so broskies of course this is a buy is there a better summer sneaker out there did you end up copying on release or have you already got another colorway leave your comments down below and of course i will be pinning the best one it's competition time i am running a one pound raffle for three winners so the first prize winner they will win a pair of sneakers of their choice under 200 pounds yes for one pounds or equivalent if you're not from the uk you could win a pair of air maxes air force ones Yeezys, anything under 200 pounds. And the second and third prize winners will get Broski t-shirts and Broski hats. I have got a very inactive Instagram page with the clothing, which I don't really use as much, just because I'm not selling any merch, but there is stock and I am willing to give it away for you Broskis. So you could call it exclusive merchandise. Now these are the rules, terms and conditions. I will leave the links and accounts down below so you can transfer that one pound to win these prizes. And all proceeds will be going towards my family's mosque. I am donating all of the money. We are trying to raise money for a new private ambulance because my family carry out a lot of funerals. And because of all the madness that has been going on, the funeral demands have shot through the roof. So because of that, I want to give something back. So every single pound will be going towards that. And once you have submitted your pound, follow my Instagram if you're not already, share one of my posts to your story and comment done underneath the picture. That's all you need to do to win these prizes. So once you've done all of those things, you've submitted your pound or equivalent to my cash app or PayPal, you followed my Instagram, you reposted and commented done, your name automatically goes into a hat and I will be picking the winners in a month's time. But broskies, if you do have any questions about the raffle or if you have any general questions, hit me up on Instagram or leave a comment on this video and let me know what other sneakers you'd like me to review. If there are any special requests and I I do like them enough i will get them on the show anyways broskies that's enough from me i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe like comment share and of course until the next episode take care